Alright, I'm back. Sorry about that. My dog has been barking. I didn't want it to be in the audio. So, hopefully you don't hear it. What's up, Max, Warren? Come on over here. I'm over here. Warren, what are you doing here? Well, nothing. Waiting for a call? I mean, I already took the call. Anyway, I wanted to rap about that action yesterday. What? Action? Oh. By right. the way, thank you for stepping in. Oh, yeah. You were pretty badass, Warren. Oh, yeah, you got, he you. stepped in. Oh, yes, you do. I got knocked on my ass by that dick. I'm some personal superhero. You're a real personal. Ooh, you're you a hero. You stood geek. up to a bully, and it was awesome. Even though you left me with said bully and ran off with that girl, she's pretty punk rock. How do you know her? Huh. An old friend. Chloe Price, we haven't seen each other in a while. I bet you were glad to see her blast up in that truck like a rock star. Yo. Which begs the question, why is Nathan Prescott getting psycho on you? I busted him. I busted him in the bathroom yesterday with a gun. Yo. I'll give you the story later. Principal Wells is taking care of it now, I hope. Weird fucking week. Like that bizarro snowfall yesterday? Speaking of dystopia, that drive-in is having a 70s Planet of the Apes marathon. Let's go ape! Let's go ape. Uh, let's do it. Yes, that's exactly what I mean. I love those old school ape films. Well, that was easier than I thought. Cool, I'll text you the info. Alright. Uh, I have no idea. Probably like some show on TV. Alright, let's go to the buses! David talking to Nathan cannot be a good thing. This has something to do with Kate. David talked to Nathan. Or Rachel. Yeah. It's funny, this this college looks so tiny. But so many students go on. That dude's hair. What if I got my hair like that? My hair is way too long anyways. I feel like I gotta cut it. Oh, I'm gonna play, listen to some music. I hope it's not copyright for you guys, so... Yeah. Or, just copyright, because I don't want to get copyright, you know? I like this song. I like all the songs that uh, Life Com Life is Strange comes with. It's really cool. Don't sleep on the bus. Oh no, don't do it. Get up. Now here's my question, how does the bus know where you want to go? I have no idea. Or the bus just drops you off at any place. Yeah, I guess, yeah. Don't try to take it from me. It's mine. I wouldn't dream of it. I'm going to be a millionaire. Hope nobody steals my lottery. Talk about going back in time. The diner looks exactly the same. Old guy. No time for chit chat. I'm a millionaire. Yep. Got my lottery ticket right here. Waiting for the bus so I can cash it in. How do you know you won? You can't have my lottery ticket. Buy your own. 
Hi. You look lost. Close. Do you know if the bus has come yet? The online schedule isn't working. Uh, I just got off. I just got off the school bus, but I'm sure the regular bus is coming too. Oh, that's a relief. <laughs> I can't be late for this job interview. I can't believe I have to take a bus all the way to Newport just to find a second job. Are things that bad here? Where are things good? I can't even afford to live here. Well, Damn. good luck. Thanks, I sure need it. You're welcome. Okay, I'm running late. Grab a booth. Okay. Alright. Oh wait, did I get another message? I did. From private number. Uh, so that's not Nathan. Nope, I don't want to go there. Wait, hold on. Let me let me see it again. Uh. Oh, I didn't see it. Oh, damn it. Whatever. It says Nathan's father. Okay. What is that? Hold to another universe. Okay. It's a little weird. Yo. Uh, stop that. Stop. No barking. There was something creepy about that guy and his dog. Obviously, nobody took my advice. Oh, I wrote that. So, uh, let's find a bone. Flyers? Look at all these flyers. It's so sad that nobody will read them. Hello. Good morning. Looks like you're ready to catch some serious fish. I wish, young gal. Arcadia Bay just isn't the same fishing town I grew up in. The change. Has the town changed much? By Neptune's beard, it has. Neptune's Seems beard. Seems like a lifetime ago when I was king of the harbor. You did pretty good to have lasted this long. Oh, the fish used to jump onto my boat until the Prescotts and their finance fiends snapped up harbor rights. Damn. The Prescotts have a lot of power. They might rename the town Prescott Bay, if that tells you much. Do you know them? Do good for my working kind. I know them through their bad deeds. Let's not get downcast. I hear the fish calling for Bali High. Never forget that old fishermen never die. We just smell that way. I'd love to learn more, but I have to get going. Happy fishing out there. Alright. I'm gonna find a bone, though. I'm not going in yet. Uh, read newspaper. Snow? Well, that's a good start to the story. Oh, okay. There you go. Hello, sir. Excuse me. Sir? Can you believe this town? The world is on fire, and our big headline is snow. I can hardly wait for next week's big story. Clouds! <laughs> the snow was pretty odd. It was right in the middle of a warm, sunny day. Oh, global warming nice bullshit. It's the Northwest. Snow happens. I keep reading how Arcadia Bay is booming. The paper can only talk about that or about missing girls. Oh. You mean Rachel Amber? Well, I guess. I bet she ran away because she was bored. Who wouldn't be here? Damn. 
what's over here? Can I go over here? Nope, I don't want to go there. Oh, okay. Let's see. Oh, there's a homeless dude. He's probably gonna rape me. Let's go see. <laughs> oh, this is a girl. This is a woman. Hello. Oh, look at you. A fine example of youth. I bet you're a senior student. Yes, I go to Blackwell Academy. I could tell you're a wise young woman. I know all about Blackwell and this town. Uh... Tell me about the family. I bet you have dirt on the Prescott family. That whole family is dirty. They once done good things for Arcadia Bay. Those days are dead. Like anything in their way. I know somebody who's being threatened by a press cart. Then you be their guardian angel, because nothing gets in the way of that family, especially not the law. Hell, they own your school, Blackwell. Almost. Hmm. How long have you lived in Arcadia Bay? A thousand years. I've gone through the same changes as the town. What changes to the town? Ones it takes a lifetime to see. There's a lot of beauty here, but a lot of darkness, too. Greedy bastards that ruin this town put people out of work. Out of home. Like me. I'm sorry. Have you ever lived outside of here? Where the hell would I go? I hate the sun and love the mist. I might be homeless, but Arcadia Bay is still my home. You must know Joyce Price from the Two Whales Diner. Mm. She's fed me more than my own family. I was a daughter your age who's always in trouble. Married to a real prick. Psst. Have you met Joyce's daughter? Cute girl. Pissed off. I used to see her and her pretty friend, uh, Rachel, around a lot. Yeah. Do you know anything about Rachel Amber? That missing girl? I know she's missing. I know she hung out here a bit. Sometimes I'd see her walking, all by herself, deep in thought. Too damn young and pretty to look so worried. Did you talk to her? Once or twice she'd talk to me, about trouble in school, oh. wanting to be some model and California. She was <laughs> always distant, but nice. I pray the poor thing is all right, but you can't save everybody. I have to go now. Goodbye. Aww. Put some money in her cup. Um. Let's see if we can find that bone. And somebody got in trouble. Okay. Well, I just took a picture of that. Oh. Come talk to me any old time you want, young lady. I thought those hot dogs would actually help. If I can ask her for one. Like, to get the dog's attention. But I don't think that's like, an issue. Alright, let's go inside. Does this guy still have a body trick it? Yeah, he does. Okay, let's go. Man, this reminds me of uh, that smell of breakfast and the sound of clanging silverware uh, makes me feel 13 again. Good lord, talk about apocalyptic. Penthouse. Oh, okay. Now oh, that brings back memories. Oh. Chloe and I loved the parade. Yeah, that was a long time ago. October 27th. Is that on Halloween? I believe so.
Coming up at noon, KBay 7 News will explore the mystery of yesterday's unusual snowfall on a warm and sunny late afternoon that confused and delighted Arcadia Bay residents. We'll be talking with Portland meteorologists in the area and look at some of your fun video reactions to the odd snow flurry. What? Who knows? Maybe Mother Nature was pranking us all. So stay tuned to KBay 7 News for the real story. Oh, okay. Oh man, I bet that's the same gum from when I was here last. Aw. Weird lady. I always wonder what people think about when they eat alone. I eat alone. Hello a lot. there to you! Such a beautiful day, eh? Oh yeah, it's gonna be a super day. Enjoy your breakfast, eh? <laughs> hey! Um, but yeah, I sometimes oh god, I just hit something. Um sometimes um like I eat alone because a lot of my friends don't like get money or have money. So um I normally just go out and eat by myself. And sometimes my dad's not there, so yeah. Did you catch any big ones today? If by big you mean none, then sure. I caught a lot of big ones today. Now let me mourn over my eggs. Damn, I'm sorry. Just wanted to have some conversation. A poster. Wait, is this the women's room? This is both. Oh, damn, that sucks. It's kind of weird. That graffiti has been here forever. Fresh before pissing on the floor. Wow. Gross. Okay. What is this? Taking a picture. Free. Wait, fire walks with me. Okay, that's cool. Hey, there's a deer. I'm wearing a deer. <gasps> oh my god, it's that deer. Thank you, redneck poet. No. Oh, dude! What do you want? I feel like shit. Too much beer, so spare me, please. Just let me suffer quietly. Alright, dude. Hey, there's the police. Hello, sir. Hi, young lady. You look a little lost. No, I'm hungry. Just hungry and thinking about what to eat. Now, that is a real problem at the uh, Two Wells. I can never decide. Yeah. The choice is pumpkin pie or grilled mac and cheese. Grilled mac and cheese. Yo, I'm pretty hungry right now. I'm gonna eat after this uh, recording. How well do you know Joyce? I know her delicious grub. Everybody at the station comes here. We take care of this place like it's our own kitchen. And Joyce, like she's our... our mother. Aww. So, you know Chloe? Sadly, we all know Chloe down at the station. <sighs> Poor Joyce. Just heard that Chloe even had a pot dealer in her room. That's not good. Anyway, hmm, that bacon sure smells good. <laughs> yeah. Is she a friend of yours? Uh, I know her. I know her. Then you know she's a handful. She can be. She can be, but she can also be a good friend who shows up when you need her. Yeah. Sounds like you're a good friend. I wish she would be a great daughter and not cause Joy so much stress. I guess you're friends with David Madsen. I wouldn't use that word. We know each other. Why do you ask? Oh yeah, the security guard in our place. Uh, just curious. He's has. Uh, yeah, he does. He kind of has a reputation at Blackwell. I have respect for David. He served his country. He found his calling at Blackwell. At the station, we're happy. David is exactly where he is. <laughs> Not everybody can be a cop. I have to go now. Enjoy your breakfast. By the way, one thing I can tell you for certain is to stay away from that RV outside. I usually stay away from sketchy parked vehicles. <laughs> Wise policy. The guy who lives in it, Frank, is pretty sketchy himself. That's all I can say for now. I should finish up my coffee and get to work. Alright. I don't deep? feel like talking right now. I gotta deliver a load of breakfast to my stomach. Over now. Over and out. Chucker. Oh, he's a chucker. Oh. Nice burger. Damn, I want a burger now. Uh, 
Hello? Pardon moi, but oh my you're God. in my eyesight. Every eyesight. Isn't everything in here with an eyesight? I don't care for your tone. You sound like Joyce. How does Joyce sound? Bossy and smartass. Like you. Uh huh. Joyce rules. I want to be exactly like her when I grow up. Yeah, she rules. Looks dude. like you're on your way. I've been coming to this dive for three years, and Joyce gives me shit like it's going out of style. That's how she rolls. That's why I worship her every move. Good. I can't wait to see you flipping greasy bacon in a diner when you grow up. Oh, exactly no. like Joyce. Now pardon me while I get back to my coffee. I look like I'm gonna punch the shit out of him. <laughs> you're like, you're making me angry. Drool. Want everything. I'm gonna feel bad if I... Wait. I can use it. Damn it. Should I? Uh, I'm gonna do it. Whatever. Uh, juice box, guitar, and... Let's do guitar. Let's rock out. Yo. <laughs> Forgot about the fishing wall of fame. Um, I thought it was gonna be rock, but it's all right. That's funny. Our family never went well watching. It looks fun. Can I get any type of booth? Justin, hey, what's up, what's Justin? What's up, Justin? Getting my coffee on before I cut class and destroy some rails. True. Shouldn't you be taking photos? I am. I am always taking photos. I am a camera. You crack me up, Maxer. Of course Maxter. I'm baked. So I'll laugh at anything. You should be studying, bad boy. So where's all your Ooh. homework, schoolgirl? School. Speaking of buds, I saw your bro Trevor sneaking out of Dana's room. Trevor finally told me about him and Dana hooking up. He got there first, so I snooze and I lose. See you Damn. later, Max. Dana? Damn. Hey, Trevor. Holla, Max. By the way, I know you saw me in the dorm. Dana's. Yeah, I saw you coming out of Dana's room. Yeah, and I finally had to tell Justin because, well, he was into her too. How did Justin react? I got him blazed. He was cool. <laughs> Nobody has secrets in Blackwell anyway. Same Yo, these guys are stoned. Yo, these guys are awesome. I love them. They're skaters and they get stoners. Dude. Alright, let's wait for, um... You know. Oh yeah, let's get some coffee. And there she is. A lovely young woman. How are you doing, Max? Hi, Joyce. It's nice to see you again. You look the same. Hmm. <laughs> like I'm still a waitress at Two Whales after all these years. No, like you still look pretty. Oh. Nice save, kid. You're still smart. <laughs> but not that smart. Now you get busted for smoking pot. <laughs> I heard the whole sordid story from David. Why does everybody look I'm so I'm sorry this stunned. was how you had to meet him. He's a good man. No matter what Chloe says. Yeah, I'm sure. I don't even smoke, like, ever. It was almost an accident. Very stupid. I'm, I'm sorry. Oh, it surprised me fierce. I was hoping you could be a good influence in her life now. I will be. Promise. I know things were hard for you and Chloe. I feel bad I didn't call. Now my folks are in Seattle and I'm all alone at Blackwell. It's my karma. Aww. You did the right thing. You moved forward with your life. Yeah, you, that's I what did you got after do. William passed on. Chloe? Chloe chose to stay angry. Anyway, I hope we see more of you. Chloe needs an old friend again. Joyce, I am so sorry about William. I have great memories of him. I'm glad, Max. That was his gift to us. Wonderful memories. Even if Aww. Chloe doesn't understand yet. Chloe understands. She just needs time. Yeah. I know that sucks for you. 
Oh, she hit all the phases. Expulsion, running away, drugs, bad boys, tattoos, piercings, blue hair. <laughs> now she's got to rebel against her stepfather. I see why, I mean. Yeah. Do you? He's not as much of a hard ass as you think. But you did tell him you had a joint, right? You took that responsibility? I did. I did. And I am sorry. I don't want Chloe in any more trouble. Or me. Nobody's in trouble over a doobie, Max. And I admire that you took the heat for Chloe. A like doobie. a great friend. But Chloe does push David, and it's not fair. He paid his dues in a war. He does care about her, along with all the students at Blackwell. Yeah. I get it, Joyce. I know Chloe still likes to stir things up. Yeah, she does provoke people, especially David. I just want us to be a family soon. I guess it's all about time. I think you're right, Joyce. So, now let's get down to the nitty gritty. What do you want to eat? Yo, you know what I want to eat? Uh, bacon, man. I was dreaming about your bacon omelet. Now finish your coffee. How dreaming of your bacon? Mmm. Yo, I'm hungry. I'm so hungry. I'm probably gonna eat, like, in a couple minutes. One bacon omelet for the young lady staff. Can I change my order? Bacon at 12 o'clock high. I love the delicious anticipation. Nerd graffiti. Uh, Lauren must have been here. The only thing that's changed on the menu are the prices. Oh. Well, that's economy. Drink coffee, yeah. Can I get some beer? This is like fourth dimensional deja vu. I keep going back in time. No beer? <laughs> it looks like you had plenty. Stick with the bacon. Oh yes, black coffee. You will be mine. Order ready. This is like fourth dimensional deja vu. Coming. Oh, she's coming. Wait, let me. Let me go back a little bit. Fuck drinking the coffee. What the heck was that? All right, let's look up. Let's go look outside. The lighthouse looks so mysterious. I wish I could stay in this moment forever. I guess I actually can now. But then it wouldn't be a moment. Incoming. Behind us. Can I get some beer and bacon before I die? This is a diner, not a bar. No beer? <laughs> Looks like you had plenty. Stick with the bacon. Alright. I think that's it. I don't have nothing around me to uh, do. Except for drink the coffee. Order ready. No beer? What, what kind of dive is this? It's my type of dive. Oh. Incoming. Incoming, so I have to drink something. You'll love this. I'm drooling like a baby. I'm drooling like a Still baby. Still can't believe you're a woman. When I look at pictures of Chloe, uh. mm. speak of the devil. <laughs> Mom and Max, together again. And Chloe looking for a free meal. You put your whole damn college fund on your tab. I'm treating Chloe for breakfast. Are you atoning for yesterday? Oh god, Mom, please do not give Max any shit for that. She apologized. I know she did. Max is a good girl. A woman. She's 18 now. She is 18. Too old to get lectures from you or Sergeant Pepper. I'm 18. Call him David if you don't want to be lectured. You only get one damn slice of bacon a day. You guys are still the same. Another reason to blow this town. What is this shit on the jukebox?
Yeah, I was playing that, I think. Now that that's out of the way. Let's talk about your superpower. I don't like have any explanation, and I can't explain why I saw that crazy fucking tornado. Come on, that's just a daydream. I want proof you can rewind time. This is all happening so fast. We'll start slow. Right here, now. Mm, all right. I can tell you every single thing you have in your pockets. You have x-ray vision, dude? I don't even know what's in my pockets. Let me see. Okay, Max. Impress me. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Do you have some kind of power or not? Okay, psychic girl. Let me show you what's actually in my pockets. That was beyond epic fail. You even made me want to believe you. Alright. Rewind. Well, this is me telling you what's inside your pockets. Okay, Max. I'm hella ready. Uh, you have... Gun... Chewing gum? Some... Old chewing gum? Nada. Not impressed. Okay, psychic girl. Let me show you what's actually in my pockets. Wait, did she have keys? Aha, uh -huh, I'm so retarded. She did have keys. That was beyond epic. God damn it. So, this is me telling you what's inside your pockets. Okay, Max. I'm hella ready. Alright, you have keys. Of course you gotta keys. have keys. Duh, way too easy. I need details. Describe my keychain. Uh, it has a bear on it. Bullet? I think it's a skull. Is that a razor? Because when I saw it, it looked like a bear. Well, I'm gonna go with a uh, skull. A skull keychain for a punk like you. That was so wrong, Max. Okay, psychic girl. Let me show you what's actually in my pockets. Okay, let me see again. Okay, Max. Study every item carefully. It and looks like a bear. Anything. Is it a panda? Oh my god. Two hours later. Okay, okay no, it's it's eighty uh eighty. You got 86. this, Max. Now rewind and blow Chloe's mind. So this oh. is me. Okay, Max. Okay, you have money. Mm. Some money. Clearly I'm rich as fuck. How much do I have? You have... 86 cents. 86 cents. That's right, living large in Arcadia Bay. <laughs> so that was cool. Show me more. You have cigarettes. I'm pretty sure you have cigarettes on you. Yes, you know I'm a smoker. But how many cigarettes? Seven? Seven cigarettes. A superpower that allows you to count cigarettes. Cool. Dude! <laughs> Something else in my pockets? Your keys. Your car keys. Duh, way too easy. I need details. Describe my keychain. Uh, with panda. A cute robot panda keychain. Not bad, Super Max. Yeah. You do have that Irish luck, Caulfield. What else? Parking ticket. A parking ticket. Yeah. You know me well. But what is the exact time I was busted? Damn it! I didn't see it! Was it today? Was it today? What time was it? 11.10? 11.10 a.m. That is so... God damn it! Psychic ah! girl. Let me show you what's actually in my pockets. 20 minutes later. <sighs> you bun... Okay, Max. Ugh. Study every item carefully and Busted don't forget at anything. 10.30... 34 p.m. So that was just today. Uh, or well, it, well, actually, what time is it actually? It's 10. It's 10:28. All right. Well, you have a parking ticket. A parking ticket. You know me well. But what is the exact time I was busted? Uh, that time. 10:34 a.m. Booyah! Max can tell time! Even a broken clock is right twice a day. Whatever the hell that means. 
Some money. Clearly I'm rich as fuck. How much do I have? 86 cents. That's Why is she right, twerking her thigh? That's kind of weird. Bay. So that was cool. Show me more. You have cigarettes. I'm pretty sure you have cigarettes on you. Yes, you know I'm a smoker. But how many cigarettes? Seven. Seven cigarettes. A superpower that allows you to count cigarettes. Cool. Amazing. Something else in my pockets? Your car keys. Your car Duh, keys. way too easy. I need details. Describe Your my keychain. Pandas. A cute robot panda keychain. Not bad, Super. How many times does that take me? 